now we are going to read about the history of the microbiology and the scientists and their contributions in the field of microbiology this is a very short topic and you can expect one or two mcqs from this topic in your final year in your uh, in your second year university exams so uh, this topic is very factual and you have to mug it up only there is nothing to understand in this topic so the first question that arises from this topic is that who is the father of microbiology so father of microbiology is regarded to the louis pasteur louis pasteur is called as the father of microbiology the second scientist we are more concerned is the edward jenner why do we want to remember the name edward jenner the edward jenner scientist is famous or known to us in microbiology microbiological field because he was the first to develop the vaccine in the world okay so the first vaccine of the world was developed by edward jenner and that vaccine was against the smallpox virus and that was called as the smallpox vaccine and with the help of that vaccine we were able to eradicate the smallpox in 1980s okay so this was a great achievement uh, by a scientist in the field of microbiology with the help of development of this vaccine we were able to develop further more vaccines and save life after that we will talk about the louis pasteur the louis pasteur the important points that you want to know about louis pasteur can be remembered by a uh, mnemonic that is the louis pasteur travel by lpg car okay so you just remember that the louis pasteur used to travel by lpg car although lpg car was not available at his time but still you can remember this mnemonic to remember the contributions of the louis pasteur so travel t t for techniques of sterilization so he first uh, gave the techniques of sterilization like steam method the hot air oven method and the autoclave method we all have discussed uh, about these methods of sterilization in the sterilization topic so no need to again describe uh, those uh, topics here so you can go and watch the video on the sterilization and you will find all these topics hot air oven autoclave etc etc okay so the next point is the travel by lpg car so l l for l for liquid media so he was first to use the liquid media for the culture of the microorganisms liquid media uh, like the nutrient broth we will see what is nutrient broth uh, when we read about the culture media then p p for pasteurization of the milk now you all must have been knowing the definition of pasteurization pasteurization of milk means uh, heating the milk uh, for a particular duration of time at a particular temperature so that all the microorganisms are killed in that milk okay so that temperature ranges something around uh, 60 to 70 degrees centigrade i do not remember it exactly but it is something like that okay so that concept of pasteurization of milk was also given by the louis pasteur next is g g for the germ theory of diseases you must have read about the germ theory of disease in your class 12th so i am not going in detail of that also but you should remember that uh, the germ theory was given by louis pasteur next is car so louis pasteur travel by lpg car car means c a r c a r means c for cholera that is the foul cholera then the anthrax and the rabies so these three vaccines these three vaccines were also developed by the louis pasteur so these are all the contributions by the louis pasteur which you can remember by the mnemonic of by the mnemonic that the louis pasteur used to travel by lpg car although it was not available at his time okay so our next scientist that we are going to uh, learn is the joseph lister why do you want to remember joseph lister so joseph lister is remembered because he was the first to use the diluted carbolic acid uh, to sterilize the instruments okay so he first uh, used this uh, carbolic acid and applied this carbolic acid on the surgical instrument so that the microorganisms or the surgical instruments can be killed and the instruments can be used for uh, more patients uh, without spreading the infection from one patient to other patients thereby pro- thereby providing a antiseptic surgical field and the antiseptic surgery okay so that's why he is also called as the father of the antiseptic surgery so that's the importance of the joseph lister you may be asked uh, 
in your uh, exams uh, by giving a question like uh, who is the father of antiseptic surgery so you should know that joseph lister is the father of the antiseptic surgery okay and next scientist that we're going to learn is the robert koch so robert koch uh, is known for two things that is hs cat okay so you can remember this hs cat mnemonic i have remembered in this way hs cat so you can also remember it in hs cat uh, mnemonic form so uh, the contributions of the robert koch h for hanging drop method for the motility testing i have described this hanging drop method in my cholera topic okay vibrio cholera topic so uh, you can uh, learn about this hanging drop method more in that vibrio cholera video uh, so that technique that hanging drop method technique for the motility testing was given by the robert koch and as for solid media for the for for the culturing of the bacteria so he was the first to use the solid media to culture the bacteria and like the louis pasteur was first to use the liquid media so robert koch was first to use the solid media for the culture of the bacteria next is cat h s cat so cat means c for cholera bacilli and a for anthrax bacilli and t for tubercle bacilli so these three bacilli were discovered first by the robert koch okay so here you should remember these are the three bacteria that were discovered by the robert koch okay so this is all about the contribution of the robert koch but uh, one more question that may be asked in university exams is what is the what is the koch's phenomenon so what is the koch's phenomenon let's see that shortly what is the koch's phenomenon so what uh, uh, the experiment uh, done by the Co uh, robert koch Uh, when he was doing the experiments uh, on the guinea pig so he observed that uh, when a guinea pig is already infected with a tubercle bacilli okay suppose this is a guinea pig it is already infected with a tubercle bacilli like this is a tubercle bacilli okay so if this uh, guinea pig if this guinea pig is uh, injected with the if this is injected with the tubercle bacilli parts okay like antigenic fragments of the tubercle bacilli or tubercle bacilli itself then there is then there is hypersensitivity reaction okay then there occurs hypersensitivity reaction in this guinea pig okay then there occurs the hypersensitivity reaction in this guinea pig and this uh, phenomenon that if a person is infected with some uh, microorganism and the proteins of that microorganism are injected into that person and he is developing that hypersensitivity reaction then it is called as the koch's phenomenon i think you are understanding it so that's that's the meaning of the koch's phenomenon and that's the definition of the koch's phenomenon okay this may be asked as a definition in your vivas or in your uh, theory exams as well so you should know this that what is the koch's phenomenon next scientist that we are going to learn is the paul ehrlich so paul ehrlich is uh, the first who discovered the acid fast nature of the tubercle bacilli and he was the first person to discover the salvarsan salvarsan was the first medication that was used for the syphilis treatment and then at his time it was called as the magic bullet and since this was the first drug that was used for the syphilis uh, that's why he is also called as the father of chemotherapy so these three fathers like the father of microbiology is the louis pasteur father of uh, antiseptic surgery is joseph lister the father of chemotherapy is paul ehrlich these fathers you should remember and uh, this will be at your tongue tip this may be directly asked as an mcq in the university exams other than that these all are the important topics of uh, i mean important contributions of the different scientists that you should know uh, uh, for your exam point of view okay that's enough from this topic see you in the next topic